Right, so welcome to this uh, new and very exciting development on the channel. It's regarding uh, Space Wolves. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have been thinking it's going to be a long time before Space Wolves appear, uh, but they have arrived on the channel uh, and uh, it's been done in a un unique way, really. Um, so, what have we got? Imperial Fist, just finished that army. I have Blood Angels, uh, James's Ultramarines. Uh, I really wanted to collect Space Wolves, but I've been working on a number of projects. So what I've decided to do uh, is to get them done on commission. I've never done that before. Um, and uh, the company or the group that I've used is called Siege Studios. You can check out their website, siegestudios.co.uk. Um, and I've got the first of the units back from them already. So I uh, did the codex review. Uh, I spent ages writing different lists. Uh, I'll talk a bit, a bit more about that when I show you some of the miniatures here that have been done. Um, and then just sent off that list of the miniatures and the, the build and requirements that I needed to Seed Studios and then they've been working on that army. They've been doing it in sections um, and uh, a number of those units are with me here uh, already. So exciting times where it looks like Space Wolves uh, will be arriving on the channel. Uh, one of the one of my favourite Space Marine chapters, um, definitely up there with Imperial Fists and, and Blood Angels. They have their own style, colour scheme uh, and look about them. Uh, some superb miniatures being released uh, for Space Wolves uh, in the past and the new stuff coming out as well. But uh, I'm not going to reveal the whole list. Um, you're going to see it uh, introduced in stages. So you're going to see the first part here in this video, which is the two HQ choices that I've gone for. Uh, I'm going to take a close-up look at them just to show you uh, the kind of results that you can get from uh, Siege Studios. Uh, and then uh, keep a lookout for more videos as I gradually build up this force and start to hopefully start taking them as allies in games. Um, and then uh, once the commission is done, um, all the way up to 1850 points. So, uh, just to talk about Space Wolves, the type of army I've gone for um, is, you know, there's a lot of like sagas and heroes and stories, so I wanted a couple of decent HQs definitely for this army, and then kind of a nasty close combat, uh, but at the same time, I wanted a nice spread. Uh, there's some superb releases. Uh, that Games Workshop have done for Space Wars, you know, with the flyers, uh, the plastic kits, the, the dreadnoughts and so on, uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry. So, I haven't gone for a spam list, I've gone for a nice, what I think is a nice spread. Uh, there's a nice tactica behind the army as well, um, but that'll be for other videos, army overview videos and, and uh, tactica videos and so on, uh, on both of the channels. So what we'll do now um, is we'll take a look at the two uh, HQ choices for this 1850 point Space Wolf list. So, I'm sure a lot of you will be excited about this. I have gone for Chrome Dragon Gaze. I kept the miniature there, uh, uh, Face Ripper, Gut Ripper, uh, painted him up and then kept this guy stored away uh, because uh, absolutely superb miniature. Uh, and then um, when I decided to go for the commission, I posted this off to Siege Studios. And then this is the result that I've got back. So, just a bit about them. Uh, they paint to different levels. Uh, sorry about the brown. Uh, thumbnail here that's from spraying a whole load of orcs. I should wear gloves really. Uh, but this is Chrome Dragon Gaze, um, and then at Siege Studios they'll paint to different levels. So, you know, if you have a budget um, and you say that I don't want to spend too much because it, it can be expensive or it can be seen as expensive uh, getting stuff done on commission, then they have different levels there's bronze, silver, gold, and platinum now. And you choose what level you want to go to uh, depending on you know high, how highly you want. The miniatures painted um, and then on price as well but that's the results here for Chrome. they're very flexible they can do things like if you have a squad of 10 uh, you can paint say uh, the nine regular guys to a bronze level perhaps or silver and then the sergeant you could say well, I'd like him painted to a high level that kind of or special characters if you've got an army command you want him painted to a high level um, then they can do that kind of thing for you as well the same with basing um, guys at Siege are telling me they watched the basing tutorial on the channel just so they could get a good match. Even sourced the same flock that I use here as well, so it all matches in uh, perfectly with the other. Yeah, I didn't want to have a commission where you, know, you could tell it's been done on commission, it looks completely different in style um, and the basing's different and so on. So what Siege have done um, is tried to match in uh, the units that I already have. Well, the armies I already have, and they've done an excellent job. I mean, the basing there is superb. They even put the brown washes in there, like I do in the 
like you see in the video, and then the, the dark grey trim around the edge. And this is a superb miniature. I think even here on the axe, yeah, you might you might see it glistening there. They've used a, like a gloss finish just on the ice as well, to give it a bit of extra sheen. A lot of care and attention has gone into this, so yeah, very impressed with what they've done. Yeah, even highlighting the black on the on the cloak there. No, very very nice. Very excited to have Crom in the army. He, he looks absolutely superb. Um, so you may well get to see him take on Gut Ripper perhaps in some games in the future. Now, would you believe he is not the army commander? Um, I do have another uh, HQ that will lead the force. Crom will just be a hero. Uh, that can do uh, his own thing in games. Very, very happy with how he's come out. Look at the detail here uh, on the sheath there of the knife. Detail on the crystals and so on around the chest. Shoulder pad work. Yeah. No, very, very good. They're great for communication as well. At Siege Studios, they'll keep in contact with you. They'll send you updates and progress on how things are getting along. Um, and that's great, so you can keep an idea of of how well things are going. Um, another thing with commissions, you don't have to get the whole thing done at once. You can, um, you know, people that will just, they'll send off a unit or two and then uh, they'll get that done. And they gradually spread it over time. That really helps. So you're not paying out a vast amount straight away, but you can gradually build up your collection and take your time. Um, and that really helps um, as well uh, with costs just to spread it around. So. Yeah, I mean, quite a few people put off by painting commissions, but uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, if you're wise and sensible about it. And what you're getting back is something of great value. Uh, another option sometimes people go for is, you know, they paint up most of an army themselves, and then they say, well, I really would like my HQs painted, or certain units painted to a nice quality, and they post, you can send them off and get them done. So just you paint out for just a couple of miniatures to be done, just to have that extra special finish, that's another option. Uh, that you can go for as well. There he is. Uh, we'll take a look at the second HQ uh, here as well. Right, so the second HQ, this is the army commander. Uh, it's Canis Wolfborn. Uh, he's absolutely huge. If you compare him to Krom, Krom's not a small miniature, but you can see the size difference. So very uh, intimidating look. So this is actually lead. Um, I bought him a number of years ago and again just stored him away for ages waiting for the time to get around to Space Wolves and now um, that I've got them done in commission I just uh, packaged him up and posted him off to Siege and then they put him together uh, and painted him up for, for me here. Uh, but nice work on the wolf here, all the different levels of shading which is very very nice work indeed and look at the size of these lightning claws uh, that Kenneth says. I, I realise he's not the, the best HQ, but I think he's pretty good. Absolutely loads of attacks. Um, and I think he'd be pretty good. Stick him in with unit of Thunder Wolf Cavalry um, and let him roam the battlefield. Hunting targets down. But a uh, very, very big miniature. And there you see the basing just matches in nicely with what I already have there. So this army should fit in perfectly with the other uh, units that I, or armies that I have. But uh, looking very nice indeed. Crystals have been painted and highlighted. Work on the face there. Very, very nice. Very, very happy with that. And then the face on the wolf here. You see the gums there on his teeth. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that's as much as I can zoom in here. But you see the gums as well have been painted and the eye. And then look, even the scar. Like a fresh wound there on top of the head as well and then all the details all of the patterns and artwork here done on the armor so very impressed with him let's be careful with him he's quite quite a weight to him but i do like lead i do prefer that over the fine cast uh, c studios they can source the miniatures for you uh, you just say what you want and they order them in um and they can make things a lot easier as well it saves you having to get hold of stuff posting them off uh, but there he is. So two HQs. It's quite a leap forward. Two, the two main HQs for the army are finished and ready. Um, so just going to get a few more units, some troops and so on. Uh, and then we're ready to start seeing Space Wolves uh, come crashing onto the channel. 
So that's the two HQs, uh, Chrome Dragon Gaze there, and then Canis Wolfborn. As I said, they've been painted up by Siege Studios. Um, .co.uk, check them out, you can uh, see the different, uh, they have a YouTube channel as well, I've actually got uh, the YouTube channel, uh, it's in my recommended channel section just on the channel homepage here, uh, you can visit there, they give you painting updates, show you the kind of work that they do, um, and then also their own website, seedstudios.co.uk, um, they have various galleries and so on, you can make contact with them on there, but there it is, uh, very impressed so far with the work um, that they've done. Um, so check them out and uh, if you're interested in getting your own commissions done uh, then have a chat with Seed Studios and uh, see what they can do for you. But there it is, Space Wolves are here. Uh, keep a look out for them uh, beginning to appear on both channels. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.